My name is Eddie Venegas, and I'm violinist, trombonist, and leader of the Sweet Plantain String Quartet. I would like to thank Dr. Briggs to have us here, and it's a pleasure for us to put this together for you. Um, we would love to dedicate this concert to all the people who passed due to the pandemic, and also to our dear friend who we lost five years ago, founding member David Gotai. Uh, who's battling cancer and passed away five years ago when he was 41. Um, he wrote some of the compositions that we are going to present here. It was an honor to create this group uh, with him, and we're always going to miss him. Afro Samurai. It's a composition of mine based on two things. One of them is the great Mongo Santa Maria's Afro Blue, which is... Um, one of my favorite pieces for Latin jazz. And um, Mongo Santa Maria was a great percussionist who wrote a lot of influential music. He lived in New York for a long time and um, he was one of the pioneers of, of Latin jazz percussion, originally from Cuba. Um, the other thing that this piece is based on is on Kill Bill 2 when in the scene when David Carradine was playing this Japanese flute right before a very bloody scene um, in, in a church. I was captivated by the sound and the music in that particular moment, so I put try to put these two things together in this piece. Um, we actually like this very much. And it was originally written for, for a student um, program that we had years ago. And I, one of the violinist students from Talent Unlimited was very gifted, and I wrote this piece for him. And, you know, we liked it so much that we kept playing it ourselves and became uh, part of our repertoire. So I hope you like Afro Samurai by Eddie Venegas.
The next piece we're going to do is a composition of mine called Danson Pati. And I wanted to put together the things that I was learning from playing in a lot of salsa bands in New York City uh, and some of the classical music composition techniques that I was learning in school into the voice of the string quartet. Um, this piece is based with, on, on Cuban music. Danzón is an elegant slow dance from Cuba. And um, then this piece gets into a sort of contemporary music section, if you will. And then that ends into a sort of rumba or what one call, where there's an open solo, violin solo. Um, we not only do music 
that's written and we play strictly what's written but we also improvise and um, and we try to combine different techniques and in this one um, we try to emulate the sound of the widow which is a percussion instrument in the salsa uh, uh, world and um, we try to imitate the sound of the widow with the violin and uh, as we put together this repertoire we we experiment different things and and it's a lot of fun and uh, it's, uh, sometimes we fail and we don't come up with something but when something actually ends up working it's very nice and in this piece in particular the widow is 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 an essential part you'll see and um i hope you like it than somebody <laughs>
The next piece is by the great late David Gotay. It's called Nostalgia. And um, David wrote this when he was already diagnosed with cancer and he could not longer play. And he was um, missing playing with his group. At the time we were on tour, we had a tour um, in Sweden for a month that he could not do given his condition. And he finished this piece and send it to us while we were there so to see if we could play it and um, um, it's one of my favorite pieces in this group and uh, very beautiful work and also has improvisation in it and you know uh, it's dedicated to him and and I hope you love it the way we do.
next piece we're going to do is called Encounters. It's a composition of mine, and I was inspired by an incredible composer, Hermeto Pascual from Brazil. Is the, he is the most colorful comp composer artist that I ever met. Uh, his pieces really push everything to the limit. If it's very explosive or if something is very soft or something is very tender or emotional, he can do it all and he can play, ton I don't even know how many instruments he plays. He's a mainly pianist, but the guy is just a genius. And I wanted to put together this piece and improvise on it. Um, and, and I did the best I could, um, but I was definitely inspired by his music. This piece is called, again, Encounters, and I hope you like it. Thank you. 
Composition is called a Venezuelan in Zweig. I was inspired by how great Swedish people were with us in our tour in Sweden. And this little town, Zweig, where we played this concert. And when we got to the church where we were going to perform, it was just basically the church and just a ton of trees around us. And it was so quiet. It was snowing a little bit. It was almost nighttime. It was almost no light. And it was just beautiful and scary at the same time. So I wanted to sort of capture that moment. And I also put together some of their old folk songs, a folk song that I researched uh, while we were there in the van. And, uh, um, and another pop song that's very famous there. So sort of mixed it together and created this piece. Um, featuring um, Joe and Orlando in, in the solos. Um, I hope you like it. A Venezuelan in Zweig. Thank you. 
to thank Dr. Briggs to have us here, give us the opportunity to do this concert, and I hope you enjoyed our performance. Uh, please stay safe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.
a teenager Before I had status and before I had a page yeah. You can find the abstract, listening to hip hop My boss used to say it reminded him of me Bob. I said, well daddy, don't you know that things go in cycles The way that Bobby Brown is just happening like Michael It's all expected, things are for the looking If you got the money, plantain is for the booking <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go